Welcome to the podcast. My name is Dr. Noor Gajraj. Let's talk about the body mass index. What's the use? A critical reckoning. Perceived benefits, simplicity and ubiquity. BMI is a straightforward calculation. Weight in kilograms divided by the square of height in meters, making it easy to use for quick assessments. Population level screening. Historically, it has been used in large population studies to identify general trends in body size and associated health risks, particularly in early public health initiatives. Correlation with body image, though problematic. In body image research, BMI has consistently been found to correlate with both negative and positive body image, offering a simple numerical variable for study, though critics argue this correlation is primarily driven by weight stigma, not BMI itself. Racist origins, the BMI's foundation lies in 19th century mathematician Adolf Quetelet's search for the average man, which he arbitrarily linked to beauty, health, and moral goodness. This work was then weaponized by a eugenics founder, Francis Galton, who applied these statistics to identify the abnormal and justify the elimination of bodies deemed unfit. Uncritical and inappropriate use. Despite its problematic history, the BMI was adopted by figures like Ansel Keys, who was fat phobic in the 1970s and remains widely used, often without acknowledging its origins or scientific limitations. Scientific invalidity and lack of nuance doesn't account for body composition. It fails to distinguish between muscle mass, bone density and fat, often misclassifying muscular athletes as overweight or obese. Racial and gender inaccuracies. The measure built by and for white men is less accurate for people of cover, color, overestimating fatness health risks for black individuals while underestimating for Asian communities and shows significant sex-based differences. Age discrepancy. The optimal BMI range for older adults is higher than typically used, leading to misclassification. Poor predictor of health outcomes. It's a weak predictor of conditions like type 2 diabetes in black women compared to black men. Perpetuation of fat discrimination and weight stigma. The reliance on BMI fuels widespread prejudice and devaluation of individuals based on body weight, leading to severe negative psychological and physical health effects. For example, disordered eating, anxiety and depression. Fat phobia itself has racial origins and is tied to white supremacy, buttressing anti-blackness. Medical neglect and discrimination. BMI is used to deny or delay access to essential health care procedures. For example, knee replacement surgery, gender affirming care, fertility treatments. It contributes to treatment delays for people with eating disorders who may not be taken seriously due to their body size. During the COVID-19 pandemic, individuals with higher BMIs were in some cases denied ventilators, sparking advocacy efforts like no disposable bodies. It can lead to misdiagnosing or inadequate care for people with disabilities, e.g. achondroplasia, Down syndrome. Traumatizing experience, being assessed and categorized by BMI can be deeply distressing and shaming experience for individuals. Reinforces harmful beauty ideals by being predicated on the idea of an ideal height and weight using BMI inadvertently validates unrealistic and damaging beauty standards, contradicting the goals of positive image promotion. In conclusion, the utility of BMI is primarily limited to broad population level health trend analysis 
while its application as an individual health measure is flawed and laden with historical discrimination, its uncritical reliance as a primary indicator of individual health is strongly advised against. Thank you for listening to this. Uh, please consider buying my new book, 100 Pathways to Longevity, and subscribing to this channel. Thank you again.